in question 4 we have these three parts and in each part we are given two expressions and we have to subtract the first expression from the second so in each part we will write the two expressions in separate rows such that the like terms are written one below the other and then carry out the subtraction process okay so let's start with the first part in the first part we have to subtract 4a minus 7ab plus 3b plus 12 this expression from this expression 12a minus 9ab plus 5b minus 3 so let's write the second expression first so we have 12a minus 9ab plus 5b minus 3 and now let's write the first expression below this second expression such that the li like terms are written one below the other so we have 4a which we write below 12a then we have minus 7ab which we write below minus 9ab then we have 3b which we write below 5b and then we have plus 12 okay and now we will carry out the subtraction process now because we are subtracting the second expression we can reverse the sign of each term of the second expression and add it to the corresponding term in the first expression so for example 4a will become minus 4a minus 7ab will become plus 7ab 3b will become minus 3b and then plus 12 will become minus 12 so the signs will change for the second expression so we have 12a minus 4a that becomes 8a then we have minus 9ab plus 7ab will become minus 2ab then we have 5b minus 3b that will become plus 2b and then we will get minus 3 minus 12 which is minus 15 all right so the result in part a is this expression 8a minus 2ab plus 2b minus 15 this is the answer for part a now coming to the second part the expression from which we have to subtract is this expression let's write it in the first row so this expression is 5xy minus 2yz minus 2zx plus 10xyz so this is the expression from from which we have to subtract and the expression which we have to subtract from the second expression is this first expression let's write it below the second expression such that the like terms are written one below the other so we have 3xy which we write below 5xy then we have plus 5yz which we write below minus 2yz and then we have minus 7zx which we write below minus 2zx and now we will carry out the subtraction process so once again the sign of each term in the second expression will get reversed so 3xy be will become minus 3xy and we'll have 5xy minus 3xy that will be 2xy then plus 5yz will become minus 5z and we will have minus 2yz minus 5yz or minus 7yz and then we have minus 7zx will become plus 7zx so we have minus 2zx plus 7zx which will be 5 plus 5zx and then we have this term 10xyz which has no corresponding term in the second expression so we simply copy it into the answer so that gives us 10xyz so the expression that we have obtained by subtracting is 2xy minus 7yz plus 5zx plus 10xyz this is the answer for part part b now coming to part c we have this as our second expression let's write this first because this is the expression from which we have to subtract so this expression is 18 minus 3p minus 11q plus 5pq minus 2pq square and then we have plus 5p square q and below this we will write this first expression such that the like terms are written one below the other so the terms in the first expression are 4p square q which we will write below 5p square q then we have minus 3pq which we will write below plus 5pq then we have plus 5pq square which we will write below minus 2pq square so plus 5pq square then we have minus 8p which we write below minus 3p 
and then we have plus 7q which we write below minus 11q and then finally we have minus 10 uh, which we write below 18. So this is how we write the two expressions and now we can carry out the subtraction process. And what we will do is we will reverse the sign of the terms in the second expression because we are subtracting the uh, this expression the expression that's written in the second row because we are subtracting this expression. So minus 10 will become plus 10 and we will have 18 plus 10 or 28. Then minus 8p will become plus 8p. So we have minus 3p plus 8p or plus 5p. Then we have plus 7q becoming minus 7q. So we have minus 11q minus 7q which is minus 18q. Then we have minus 3pq which will become plus 3pq. So we have 5pq plus 3pq, that's 8pq. And then we have plus 5pq square, which will become minus 5pq square. So we have minus 2pq square minus 5pq square, which is minus 7pq square. And finally, we have this plus 4pq square, which will become minus 4pq square, uh, p square q. So we have 5p square q minus 4p square q, which will become p square q. So the expression that we obtain after subtraction is this expression 28 plus 5p minus 18q plus 8pq minus 7pq square plus p square q. This is the answer for part C and with this we have completed question number 4. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.